Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. I am, uh, I guess you could say, a dead man walking, so to speak, uh, a couple hours before I have to do the Dan Salio show. But um, I have to say that I am... No punk bitch. How about that? This is me. I'm no punk bitch. I ain't no punk bitch. Neither. I'm no punk I'm coming bitch. Head head up. You know, this is my reward for being a Dallas Cowboy fan and defender. That, you know what? You got to take the bullets when you're wrong. And so far, I've been wrong. And I hope the Cowboys make me wrong again by turning it around. How about that? Uh, one of the things that they need to turn it around may be Micah Parsons. And unfortunately, today, the first practice of the week, it's he is not practicing. So this is not good news. He is getting closer uh, per John Mashoda. Uh, no practice today for Cowboys defensive end Micah Parsons. He'll be working with the rehab group. Cowboys coach Mike McCarthy, he's making gains each week. He's just not ready to get into practice format. So there's that. Um, we don't have any word yet on Deron Bland, if Deron Bland will be practicing or not uh, today. Um, one other thing, <laughs> uh, Mike McCarthy kind of, um, in a way, kind of throws Jerry Jones under the bus a little bit by saying running back by committee approach was definitely – not the preferred method, but we feel it's the best way to utilize these guys. Okay, so you know, the season is screwed up right now, okay? This is do or die this weekend. So, you know, let, let's not, uh, let's just rip the mandate off right now. What you have right now is everybody justifying their job and what they do to say, it's not me. Okay, we're going to learn a lot about the Cowboys and the inner workings of the Cowboys, because if they don't fire Mike McCarthy, Mike McCarthy is auditioning for his next gig. If there is another gig, he needs to have plausible deniability of being the problem. I think most people will look at it and say, at least the way I look at it and say. When you think of the Cowboys getting rid of Amari Cooper and not replacing him, when you look at the Cowboys not bringing in any free agents, who some of which actually wanted to come here, not even investigating it. When you look at the Cowboys silent on the trade deadline, when you look at the Cowboys literally losing all of their linebackers and saying, we're fine, we'll just play a safety there. When you look at the Cowboys whose running game has been going downhill for years, and your solution is bringing back Zeke, who is washed, and bringing in Dalvin Cook, who is also washed, and figuring, we, you know, if we got 25% from this guy and 25% from that guy and 25% from that guy and 25% from that guy, we can put them together and we got 100%. We got. A, I, I could literally see, see them all sitting around the table saying, "Yeah, there we got. That's what we'll do. There we go. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll take. Yeah, we'll, and, and we'll be relevant. We'll, we'll we'll create one great big running back, and it's failed. There's no other way to put it other than to say it failed. And this is Mike McCarthy saying, you know, running back by committee. Uh, it's not what I really wanted to do, but you know, that's what's dealt to me. Um, it's, as he's basically saying, it's not the preferred method. Basically, he's saying, well, Jerry Jones, this is what he gave me to work with. I would have rather gone out and got Derrick Henry and had one guy out there as the lead back, and we just spell him some. But Jerry didn't want to do that. Jerry didn't want to do that. So it's not the preferred method, and it is what it is, and I'm trying to, you know, best I can use these guys that aren't amounting to a hill of beans on the roster. And here's where 
It doesn't make sense, but it does make sense. The Cowboys get C.D. Lamb and get Dak Dunn. Sitting around with about $21 million worth of cap space. They're not going to spend that. They're going to roll that over to next year. You see the cap number for Dak and C.D. next year. They have triggers in their contracts where they can literally, um, you know, kick the can down the road and end up freeing up capital. Not, not that I see a reason for them to free up capital because they won't sign anybody other than their own guys. They'll sign Micah Parsons, and they won't have a problem being able to do that. They'll sign Tyler Smith, which, you know, is a no-brainer. But as far as trying to actually compete, I don't know if that's the case. But what the Joneses are trying to do is they're trying to make it, make sure that Mike McCarthy looks like the village idiot so when they don't resign him, they can say, yeah, well, we, we love Mike. We gave him every opportunity, but he failed, you know. And Mike McCarthy probably wants to get off of this, this tilt world right now. He's probably sick of it, about ready to toss his cookies. And he's trying to make sure that he doesn't take blame in the same way with Kellen Moore when Kellen Moore was the play caller. Mike McCarthy would say the installer is the play caller. Kellen Moore is the installer. He calls the plays. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. It's that guy. Mike McCarthy's good at that, putting the blame on others. Now, for the first time, more than ever, I think the Joneses are getting more flack than usual. Usually we look at it and we say, well, Jason Garrett's not a good coach. And, you know, he just stinks. Or, you know, we had injuries and things because Tyra Smith got hurt and stuff like that. Now people are beginning to go ahead and laugh at the Joneses and say, you are the problem for the first time. For the first time. I, I don't ever remember people really going at the Joneses the way they are now. And so they say, you reap what you sow. When you decide to take your time doing contracts, not to save money, but to stay in the news. You know, here's a novel idea, Jerry. How about winning, keeping you in the news? How about winning a Super Bowl and having them talk about that as opposed to, hmm, are you going to sign Dak Prescott or are you going to let him walk? Yeah, this shit is crazy. It is truly crazy, but hey, it is what it is. All right, you good people. I hope you're having a great hump day. I'm sure that um, Dan Salio and Philly 500, they're going to be trying to hump all over me today in the live stream. Not looking forward to it. Peace.